Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Cam Jennings coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com. Hope you guys are doing amazing out there on this fine, fine Friday morning. Today, I want to talk to you guys about why I decided to do some print book publishing this year. Quick weather report for you. It's about 50 degrees out here. Abnormally warm for the middle of January, or for the end of January here in Ohio. But such it is, 50 degrees. And uh, well, not 50 degrees, I, I, I digest. It's probably like, I digress. It's, and I am digressing. <laughs> I'm talking about the weather. Uh, I think it's like 44 degrees out here, hey, whatever. It's hoodie weather for me, it's, it's not that cold. It's a little wet on the ground, but it's not that bad. It's not really doing anything right now, it's not raining or anything like that. It's a good day for a walk. Um, so why did I go to print books this year? First of all, I wouldn't say I went to print books. I'm testing print books out. I'll give you three reasons why. The first reason is, it's very simple. There's a barrier to entry with print books that a lot of people don't know how to tackle, aren't willing to tackle, are too lazy to tackle, don't have the money to tackle, whatever it is. There's a, there's a barrier to entry there that I've decided is okay for me, but a lot of people are not okay with it. That's the first reason. You could also say, stacking onto that first reason, you know, when we talk about barriers to entry, you know, when a lot of people are zigging, I am always like attracted to the idea of zagging. I'm always looking at how can I do things different than other people. So, you know, I don't see a lot of people doing print publishing, you know, a few people. Um, but that's the first reason, barrier to entry that I know I can overcome. By the way, I'm not just, just uh, whistling, you know, Dixie here. Um, I'm selling my, my first print book right now it's called 13 Obstacles. If you want to pick that up, if you want to check that out, the best way to do that is to get on my email list because from now until Sunday, I'll be promoting it. Um, just go to epicconversions.com, sign up for my newsletter. That's how you, that's how you can uh, learn more about my book. Um, what's the second reason why I'm into print publishing, um, this year in 2024? The second reason is because it's exciting to me. I like doing things that I find enjoyable, that don't just feel like a job. You see, the truth is, I, I don't know what's gonna happen with the print publishing. I was talking to you guys about this yesterday. It's a new project for me. I don't have any good, reliable, you know, data on my own list and how it, it responds to me selling something in print. It's new. It feels a lot like when I did my first or second digital product launch. Um, you know, mistakes were made. There was a lot I had to learn. Um, but I was eager to learn. I was excited to be doing something different. And that's kind of how I feel about the print publishing, you know. And to me, you know, if you're excited about doing something out there, you know, that's a really good metric that you're on the right track. That's the second reason. Um, that's the second reason I'm into uh, print publishing right now. Sorry, guys. Just getting a walk in this morning here. 
a little out of breath. What's the third reason that I'm into print publishing right now? Well, it kind of comes back to that first reason a little bit. But I guess in a nuanced way, it's a little different. And the third reason is because I can. Because I can get into print publishing. I guess that kind of comes back to barrier to entry. But also I think it kind of comes back to mindset because I believe that anybody from the most wealthiest entrepreneur on the planet to the poorest solopreneur on the planet can find a way to do print publishing if they want. There's a lot of like print on demand services out there. There's a way you can do it if you want to do it. So to me, it comes back to two things, right? It comes back to, are you too lazy to do it? Or are you unwilling to do the research to figure out how to do it? And then the third one, obviously there's a third one, uh, it's just, you just don't want to do it. It's just not something you're interested in. But to me, I think if you do digital publishing, there's no reason why you wouldn't be interested in, in print publishing. If you publish digital information products, there's no like true reason you wouldn't be interested in uh, physical. The only reasons could be, you know, you're too lazy to physically do it. You're too lazy to put the research into doing it. You're scared you're gonna lose money on overhead. But again, there's ways around that. You just gotta do your research. So, yeah, I mean, to me, like if you're in digital publishing, I, I can't think of any good reason why you wouldn't be interested in print publishing. It's all about barriers to entry. That's what I believe. So I guess you could sum the whole thing up, you know, when it comes to why I'm in print publishing. It's because I want to. I just want to do it. It's exciting to me, and I want, to, I want to give it a shot and see what happens. Who knows? The way I look at it, I'm going to do print publishing for a year. I'm going to continue to do di digital publishing, you know. I still publish PLR assets digitally every single month to my newsletter club. But this year... You know, I want to explore print publishing. So I wanted to do a newsletter too. I wanted to do a physical newsletter too. But I felt like, man, I'm just getting into this thing. That's a lot of logistics to worry about for me. So what I did was, I said, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Everyone who orders my book, they're also going to get a copy of my print newsletter. So I'm going to publish six books this year. So I'm going to publish six issues of that newsletter. It's called The Brick Report. When you pick up my book, you get a free copy of the newsletter. It's about 18 to 20 pages, you know. It's for lateral thinking marketers, you know. People who like to think outside the box. My goal with The Brick Report is to give you something that you didn't, you didn't know. Give you something new that you didn't know. Give you a new way to look at something. Give you something different. Maybe it's a tactic. Maybe it's a strategy. Maybe it's just a new way to look at something you already knew about. And again, all this is very experimental, you know. I'm doing it like this because, you know, it's testing, really. I mean, I, I plan to do it for a year. So, figure six issues kind of bi-monthly there. I tell you, I always hated that word bi-monthly. You look that up and it can mean two times a month or it can mean every other month. <laughs> as many words as we have in the English language, you think 
we could come up with a different word for those two things. I mean, they are so different. But, anyways, it is what it is. That's kind of uh, where I'm at on print publishing. I want to try it for a year, see what happens. See how it goes. If it stops being fun, I'll stop doing it. But right now, I really enjoy it. We'll see. It's really, really early. My advice is, if you enjoy doing something, try to build try to build some kind of income around it. Stop trying to build income around things that you absolutely hate or detest, deplore, despise. Basically, all you're doing is just building yourself another job at that point. So, you know, if you can lean into something you actually enjoy doing, I think that's the smart way to go. You only live once. You might as well find something to do that you actually like. And you, to be honest, you probably do a better job. You probably do a better job if you actually enjoy what you, you do. You can endure the hard times a little bit better because you enjoy what you do. You can appreciate the good times a little bit better because you enjoy what you do. It doesn't feel as much like work. Anyways, that's why uh, that's why I've gotten into print publishing. It's something I've been thinking about for a few years. See, I used to st sell books on Amazon. I used to sell uh, physical books, print books on Amazon. I was a used bookseller. That's how I got into online business, used book selling. <coughs> I mean, I had a storage unit, climate control storage unit, thousands of books in that storage unit, selling physical books. So I've always been a fan of, you know, print, the printed word. And, uh, I can tell you right now, if you look into it, you're going to find that print books are outselling digital books by a long, long majority. Big time. I know I spent all of 2023 reading print books. I didn't buy any digital stuff in 2023. And that's probably the most I've enjoyed reading in a long time. So, when I did my research, I realized... That's a lot of people. A lot of people prefer print to digital. So to me, there's a market for it. I know I have a lot of older people on my list. 40s and beyond. So I feel like they're going to be into print. So who knows? We'll see. Test it out for a year here and see what happens. That's how I look at it. Anyways, that's all I got today. If any of this has resonated with you, be sure to join my email list, my free newsletter, you know, epicconversions.com. That's where you find it. That's all I got. Have a good one. Peace.